Did you know that Persian cats are the most popular cat breed in the entire world? Neither did I. Easily recognizable for their brilliant eyes, luxurious coats, amiable nature, and elegant, almost royal demeanor, these fluffy furballs are among the best pets that can be your special friend for life. But why is that? Let's find out. Welcome to Fuzz Feed. This is where you'll get your daily dose of fuzz. From dogs to cats to rabbits, if you want to know more about certain animals, you're in the right place. Today we're talking about 15 interesting facts about the Persian cat. Number 1. Their history. Where did they come from? The first ancestors of Persian cats arrived in Europe in the 1600s. They were brought to Italy from Iran, and brought to France from the Turkish Empire. The Turkish Angora may be the ancestor of these cats. Their unusual appearance gained them tons of popularity. As such, they quickly made their way to England and participated in the first cat show ever. So how much did you already know about the Persians' history? Was this information new to you? Number 2. Their appearance. What should they look like? You'll immediately notice Persian cats look different from all other breeds. That's mainly due to their flat face and shortened muzzle. But the medium-sized Persian have a round face, big round eyes, and small ears. Persian cats have really long, thick fur, and relatively short legs. Their eyes can be of any color, and so can their coats. Number 3. Main Types of Persian Cats Did you say main types? There are actually two types of Persian cats. The traditional, or doll-faced Persians, and extreme, or the peak-faced. In the traditional style, the muzzle is visible, even if shorter than the average. The peak-faced Persians appeared recently, in the 1960s. The extreme style calls for the forehead, nose, and chin to be in vertical alignment. At first, readers were discouraged from pursuing the traditional style. That's because these cats were prone to some severe health issues. Nowadays, only the peak-faced Persians are recognized as a breed by the major cat associations. This puzzles many cat lovers worldwide. Fortunately, the general public still prefers the doll-faced Persian cats. Number 4. Other types of Persian cats. Okay. Did you just say other types? There are others? There are also other types of Persian cats. The exotic short hair is basically a Persian cat with short fur. The Himalayan looks stunning, but it's not usually recognized as a separate breed. The chinchilla is recognized as a different breed in South Africa. And more recently, there are toy or teacup versions of Persian cats. However, with the toy or teacup Persian cats, they most likely suffer from a disease that stunts their growth and heavily affects their bones. So please don't buy them. Number 5. Space Needs Okay, now, let's discuss their space needs. Persian cats, unlike other cats, are ground dwellers. They don't usually require tall cat trees to be happy. On the other hand, they need a few really comfy places, as they love to chill. You can get them some medium-sized cat trees, if you want to spoil them. On the bright side, your shelves should be safe, and you can decorate them as you please. So with this, you can really tell why the Persian cat is a popular breed. Number 6. Personality. What is their personality like? The Persian is a quiet feline. They enjoy a calm and relaxing environment. While many perceive Persian cats as little divas, turns out this is definitely not the case. Despite their grumpy appearance, Persian cats are pretty warm and caring. They're loving towards their owners, and often toward guests. Persian cats enjoy being held, and cuddled, or maybe they're just too lazy to fight it. Even if affectionate, these cats won't be around your ankles at every given minute. They will, however, wait for you to arrive from work, and greet you at the door. Don't you just love that? If this trait melts your heart, hit the like button. Let's let everyone know how adorable Persian cats can be. Persian cats are also known to sit on your lap, which is excellent news, if you're into lap cats. Number 7. Their meow. How do they meow? 
Well, Persian cats are soft-spoken. So they don't meow a lot. Their voices are soft, quiet, and very pleasant to hear. Persians will use their meow only when their needs aren't met. So make sure to meet them. Additionally, they seem to love to purr, which gained them the nickname of being purr machines. Number 8. Activity Level. And now let's talk about their activity level. Surprisingly, Persian cats are not quite as lazy as people think. This means they're not full-on couch potatoes. Even if laid back, they exhibit short bursts of energy. Persian cats love interactive toys, balls, and catnip mice. They also enjoy a good old cat teaser. Still, you need to make sure that they exercise daily. Also, Persian cats are not considered intelligent, but maybe they're too chill to show it. There are some Persians that love to play fetch, but don't count on this. On the bright side, you can be sure that your drawers and cupboards will be safe. Number 9. Social Skills How do they get along with other pets? Persian cats do pretty well with other pets as long as their space is respected. If introduced gradually to other cats, they'll do great. You can expect some tension. And this is totally normal. It's best, however, to get a cat with a similar personality. If you get a very active cat, your Persian might be overwhelmed by all that energy. And the same goes for dogs. Make sure that the dog is well behaved and respects the cat's space. Number 10. What about children? Persian cats do brilliantly with older, well-mannered children. They're not fans of small and misbehaved kids. But truth be told, nobody is. Persian cats love calm environments, so a busy household doesn't suit them. If you have a boisterous household or small kids, make sure your Persian has a quiet place to retreat to. Otherwise, don't get one. That being said, a Persian will probably never attack anyone, but you can never be too careful. Are you learning a lot about the Persian cat? If you are, like this video. By liking this video, you're telling us that you want to hear more about Persian cats. And while you're at it, subscribe so you don't miss when we post another Persian cat video. Number 11. Where should you keep your Persian cat? Are Persian cats indoor or outdoor cats? Persian cats should definitely be kept indoors. There are several reasons for that. First, the Persian is too trustworthy, both towards animals and other humans. They're not good at detecting dangers and can be quickly snatched away. Second, their long fur can get dirty and tangled in the blink of an eye. And you definitely don't want that. But the good news is that Persians aren't usually interested in exploring the outdoors. They would much rather sit around and take a nap than going out. I mean, who doesn't want a cat that enjoys a good nap? Number 12. Persian Cat Care. And how do you care for a Persian cat? How much grooming do they need? The answer is a ton. That's because of their long fur, but also due to their flat face. You'll have to brush your Persian cat daily, no exception, to keep the fur tangle-free. The brushing session should last approximately 15 minutes. Moreover, baths will ensure your Persian cat's coat is easy to comb. It's recommended to bathe your Persian cat weekly or once every two weeks at a minimum. Due to their facial structure, excessive tearing is a widespread trait of Persians. This is true, especially for the extreme ones. Considering this, you'll need to wipe their eyes frequently. By doing so, you'll keep their fur stain-free and their eyes crust-free. As you can see, there's a lot of time needed to properly meet their grooming needs so make sure you have time. And here's another thing to consider. Due to their grooming needs and affectionate nature, it's best to take the Persian to a friend or pet sitter when going on vacation. So please keep these in mind before getting a Persian cat. Number 13. Their health. This is probably the worst part of owning a Persian cat, their health. Sadly, Persian cats are susceptible cats and they're prone to certain diseases. Lots of these problems occur due to their flat faces. The extreme flat-faced Persians are more problematic. The usual health concerns for Persian cats are breathing difficulties, eye issues, and dental disease. 
Moreover, polycystic kidney disease PKD, which causes kidney failure, has a very high incidence rate in the Persian breed. This is a hereditary disease, and its symptoms appear when the cat is about 7 years old. Unfortunately, a kitten can still inherit this gene, even if the parents are healthy. DNA screening can detect if the cat is a carrier of the gene. As a result, most responsible Persian breeders have bred out this health problem. But the same cannot be said about backyard breeders. So if you really want a Persian cat, get the kitten from a breeder and ask to see the test results for all major health issues. Additionally, about 6-7% to of Persian cats suffer from hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which can cause sudden death. Persian cats have a higher chance to suffer from an early onset of progressive retinal atrophy. If that wasn't enough, they could also develop dental issues, leading to an incorrect bite. This will affect their ability to grasp, hold, and chew food. Even without the condition, the flat-faced Persians have difficulties in picking up food. For this reason, a specially shaped kibble has been created for Persian cats. They can also suffer from other less severe problems. So if you want a Persian cat, be prepared to invest in health treatments. Also, consider getting pet insurance, which typically covers a significant portion of the healthcare costs. Number 14. Life Expectancy. How long do they live? Not surprisingly, Persian cats' health problems are prone to take a toll on their life expectancy. While the lifespan varies by country, Persian cats live on average between 12 to 14 years. Of course, you can make sure your cat will live as long as possible by getting your cat from a respectable breeder and asking for additional tests when needed. Number 15. Their cost. How much do they cost? Let's talk about dollar bills. A Persian cat costs anywhere between $800 to $5,000 in the United States. Prices vary so much because specific colors are more requested than others. But if you can't afford one, or are concerned about the potential health issues, there's some good news. You always have the option of adopting. While stray cats' ancestors cannot be tracked, they tend to be healthier than pedigreed cats and live longer. Not to mention they're almost free, and you'll be giving them a forever home. But that's it for now. So what did you think? Did you find these facts interesting? And we'd love to know how many facts did you already know? Let us know in the comments below. And if you know something we don't? Go ahead and comment below. If you liked our content, give us a like to let us know, hit the bell to get notifications, and subscribe to FuzzFeed for your daily dose of fuzz.